Alrighty, folks, I think we're gonna be in business tonight. What is that, baby? That's Bose, baby, that's Bose. Hey guys, if you're new here, welcome. We have a lot of fun here. Smash that subscribe button down below and turn on your bell notifications so when fresh content comes out, you're the first to know. My car is so full right now. I got a chair above my head. I got Bose sitting in the back right there. We're looking at fresh product, baby. Fresh product. Well, this is probably the best find that I've ever found today. That is a pumpkin, carved pumpkin, <laughs> in March. I'm telling you, the best finds, best finds, carved pumpkins, baby. Alrighty, we're in the can cave and we're going through grab box number one. I got my trusty, big, beautiful blue gloves on. Bag here, we saw a couple really cool things though. We got a, a LiftMaster garage door opener. These are always awesome sellers right there. So that's gonna go for probably easily almost pizza money alone just for that. We got four gigs of laptop memory, brand spanking new, uh, 3M Velcro, a old school mini DV. I actually have that still. Um, I don't know where that is actually. Oh, I have the tapes. Never mind. I don't have the recorder, but I got some old snowboarding tapes for back of the day. Uh, old, old school. Wow. I, I thought that was eight gigs. No, that's eight megabytes of memory. <laughs> I might just look into that, see if that's uh, vintage worth anything with the card reader adapter right there. I pod, a uh, little sleeve holder to keep it protected. Got some old film that's brand spanking new. And then all of the memory card adapters, little carabiner, a couple adapters, etc. cetera. Uh, but I am gonna keep this up here and maybe the old school film as well. Let's keep digging. Already recycled a ton of stuff that we needed to get rid of, but we do have some things I placed aside. They're in good condition for Salvation Army. Also brand spanking new T20 Maxwells. We got uh, six brand new T20 Maxwells just three alone go for about 13, 14, 15 bucks on eBay with a couple RCAs as well. I'm gonna lot this whole entire thing right here, try to get at least 16, 17 dollars for that. That's pizza money for VHS tapes. Again, they're brand new sealed in the wrap right there. We do have the lamp that we did see earlier. I'm gonna go ahead and donate that to Salvation Army. Let me get this upstairs and show you a little bit more in better light but I just looked up the Bose subwoofer and we are looking at big money there for the Bose, which is right here. Okay, coming over here real quickly, this is the leather version of this chair. I just spent the last about 15 minutes scrubbing it up really nicely. I'm gonna do one more go over with some leather cleaner. I just went over it with a damp rag all the way around dusting it. Unfortunately, yes, you are correct. We are missing the headrest portion of it, but I actually sat in it very comfortable still. This is $200 brand new. I think we can easily get 40, 50 bucks in the condition even without that headrest. This is the 46 inch Vizio. Unfortunately, I think it has a bad board. I was testing that with a multimeter earlier this afternoon before I went back out, but the main board and the T-Con board and the LED driver board over here are worth big bucks. Or if I wanna get another 46 inch up and running, I'm gonna to have to invest about $40 or so to get that up and running. Hopefully it doesn't have a cracked screen, but I didn't see any cracks on the front of it. But again, I might just part this out. Again, we do have the stand as well, which goes for big bucks. So we're looking great overall, great haul day today. This guy's looking good. This is actually a really cute, I believe that's Ikea, kind of a cubed glass display thing. You can put some glasses in, hang it up on a wall with some uh, anchors. And then we have a white lamp next to it. I think I'm gonna go in for a closer look. Maybe go score that white thing. All right, we got some sort of like travel display board and a couple nice chairs, just chilling around chairs. How about that? We're looking real good. The travel board case is to the left of the chairs. I'm trying to creep on this, uh, what looks to be an entertainment center by Ikea. There's a dude right there kind of creeping on me, but we got it right here down low. Thought I saw something. Oh yeah, there's a lot of product right here, but there's a dude in his garage right there organizing. Alrighty, folks, I think we're gonna be in business tonight. Here we have a large Ikea table, but I'm not interested in the table. I'm interested in the legs. I just sold four legs 
on eBay for a hundred dollars. That's right, a hundred dollars. They're discontinued if they're the same legs. Let's go see. I'm gonna get some footage of this real quick. Very nice stainless steel trash can. In the trash can, a lot of boxes. I'm actually looking for bubble wrap as well. Where that bubble wrap at, baby? That's really cool. Somebody set up some nice cans, bottles and cans. That was probably at least six bucks worth of recycles and eh, maybe only five if we're lucky, but overall not too shabby. I'm gonna grab another parking spot over here. I saw a taken apart bicycle. I wanna kinda get a little bit more closer footage on. Hold on one second. Let's go snag some of that footage. Oh, by the way, a very nice in unit desk as well. Solid wood, looked very nice condition by the way. Well, we got it, baby. It's a lot nicer than I thought. Trek aluminum frame bone trigger handlebars. Uh, I, I'm not really sure why I grabbed it, but overall, I think we're gonna go ahead and take some parts off of it. I don't know if I'm gonna be using it precisely. I'm gonna figure out if I can turn that into a hardtail 29, but even so, I do have some spare parts. I can turn that and I can actually flip that if I didn't wanna keep it. I actually prefer a 27 and a half, and that's the inches of the tires. But overall, a very stunning bike. Good components, nice pedals, handlebars, rock shocks it does need a seat and a seat post and unfortunately i gave mr sleeps a lot <laughs> my really nice seat post and seat to sell with a junky mongoose. But anywho, we got some more diving ahead of us. Mr. Sleeps a lot went to go retrieve the Table Entertainment Center. All righty, a pink onesie. Are you kidding me? That's awesome. Thing is like really big too. We're gonna throw that in and wash that up real nicely. And then we have a beautiful leather. This again, I thought was a purse, but it's, um, I believe that's leather. It might be imitation leather. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, pockets on the side. Look at how gorgeous that is. Two backpack straps. It's pretty clean on the inside as well. Straps all over the place. Even the uh, little crossover thing is inside the bag as well. I thought that was a great, great little score, little uh, top pouch there. Check that bad boy out. Okay, but let's come over here real briefly, 11.17 p.m. Coming over here. What was inside, Chris? What was inside of that leather bag? Uh, okay, actually, let's go over here to the kind of the boring -er thing first. Are you ready? Check this out. This is like some sort of thing. I think you put this on your dog. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. It seems like it has like a loop around. You could put it on a bicycle. Anyway, it is an LED light that blinks, that flashes and goes off. I actually really like that. I'm going to put that on my bicycle or my electric motorcycle. But Chris, what in the world is that exactly? I am so pumped about this. Hold on. Let me get it out of the bag with two hands. Check that out. That is like some sort of, it's a very small, but it's a little flip out time watch thing about i'm gonna look that brand up see if that's worth anything it says what does that say does that say london that say london on there uh, i can't tell what that is uh, it's probably a bad battery pick pick peak ador london i'm gonna go ahead and look into that whoa look at that bad boy but moving along this way this way this way this is what caught my eye right off the bat what are you joking me right now i think that's for a, a women's size obviously with all the women's stuff that's a nixon that's a full-blown nixon obviously it's probably been in there because again the batteries have gone dead and they're like ah oh, we don't want it anymore or we uh, just don't want to deal with it and go to walmart put a new battery in that is the nixon and moving out. Oh, they sure were moving out and dumping all their stuff. The Kingsington 50 millimeter stainless steel Japanese movement. If you guys know if these things are worth some dollar billies, link it in the description box. Don't link it in the description box. Comment in the comment below, baby. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch. And we'll see you soon. <laughs>